Nick here with another board game unboxing. Today it's special because we're going to be unboxing something that was requested by one of our followers, which is the unboxing of Dark Souls Dark Root Expansion. So we're going to be checking it. It took a while to actually arrive. Uh, it's a little bit banged up here on this side, but besides that, it seems pre in pretty good shape. This expansion is really cool because it adds a bunch of new enemies in the game. I see here seven new enemies. So we have a Mushroom Child, we have Mushroom Parent, two Stone Knights, two Stone Guardians, two Demonic Foliage, three Plow Scarecrows, three Sheer Scarecrows, and we have also two uh, new main bosses. Great Grey Wolf Sif, which comes, uh, like if you guys play Dark Souls 1, that's one of the bosses you face in the game. And Artorias, the Abyss Walker, which is uh, from the DLC from Dark Souls 1. So let's start by opening the package. The box itself, in terms of size, is very similar to the other Dark Souls expansions. The box is in fairly good shape. I think the only major issue I see is on the top left here, as you guys can see. It's a little bit banged up. But the content seems okay. So here we have the manual, the two health dials for Artorias and the Great Grey Wolf Sif. Then we have the first pack of cards, which I believe it's all the behavior and data cards. And on this pack, I believe we have all the encounters and new treasures. And these things you, uh, you use to assemble the health dials. Let's do that now. Now for the first pack of cards. And if you want to sleeve your cards, you have to use 63.5 by 88. Okay, first card we have Artorias data card. Here we have the same card in different languages. You can pause the video if you want to check the card stats. Then we have his behavior cards. So there's a total of 11 uh, basic behavior cards and three hit up behavior cards. His behavior deck is composed of five cards and when he hits up, you have to remove two behavior cards and add three hit up cards. Then we have Sif data card, again, the, the same five languages. And the behavior cards. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten base, base behavior cards. And one, two, three, and four heat up cards. Sif's behavior deck is composed of five cards and he heats up at 19 health points. Sif miniature is amazing, it's really big. I know like the mega bosses have, are bigger than this, but this one is impressive, it's really cool. And you can see it's much bigger than Artorias. Sif's special ability is that when it reaches three health points, you have to discard your entire behavior deck and keep only the limping strike hit up card. And here we have the new enemy data cards. So the Shears Scarecrow, Plow Scarecrow, Demonic Foliage, Stone Knight, Stone Guardian, Mushroom Child, and Mushroom Parent. From what I've played so far, the new enemies bring a lot of variety to the game. 
Most enemies have magic resistance and they use abilities that you normally see only on bosses like moving and pushing, movement and push that deals damage, attacks that push, attacks that can stagger a player character and also an enemy that attacks twice in a row. So I highly recommend mixing the encounters of the base game with the encounters in Dark Root. Now for the second pack of cards. So here we start with the new encounter cards. I will scan the card so you guys can see all the details. These cards sleeve size is 41 by 63. For this pack, part of it is in the other four languages I mentioned before. So I'm gonna place them on side, but again you have German, French, Italian and Spanish. Then we have a couple of new weapons, some armor, and then here some of the treasures from the bosses. So here we have the Great Sword of Artorias, Cursed Great Sword of Artorias. Again, I'm gonna put them, uh, I'm gonna scan them so you guys can see them better in case you're looking for the stats. Now for the manual. So we have here the introduction pages, then the contents pages. Here uh, we have basically three things. We have one explaining that you can use the encounters in the base game. Uh, you, you can either just shuffle them among the, the encounter cards you have in the base game. And if you want to have a better experience, you can just remove six cards, six level one, two and three encounter cards and add the 18 cards you have on this expansion. It talks also about the treasure rules, which are the same as in the other expansions. Then we have a page explaining that Sif and Artorias have behavior cards that have a zero dodge difficulty. And if that's the case, then you can, you can just dodge it, but you have to spend one stamina. I couldn't find those cards with zero dodge difficulty. So I looked in the internet and actually they had some during play testing, but then they cut those cards and they kept the text in the manual. So you don't have those cards actually. Then here basically explaining uh, the, the, the main bosses, uh, both Great, Great Grey Wolf and Artorias. And some nice concept art too. And one campaign scenario that uses all the elements you have in the expansion. So I think from all the expansions we've seen so far, this one is the best in terms of cost benefit. You get seven new enemies, you get two main bosses, you get a bunch of new treasure and uh, much more than what you would get if you, uh, if you get, for example, Iron Keep expansion. So today's unboxing is for one of our subscribers that requested it. So if you have any board games or video games that you would like me to do an unboxing, so don't forget to leave your comments and your suggestions for new board games you would like to see me unboxing. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. And I guess see you guys next time. Bye.